Backstage here at the 59th Grammys. Hello, I am Ralphie and uh, the man to my left. You may know him as a number of different names. Maybe you know him by his real name or by Ricky or by Wallpaper. Ricky Reed is here. Yeah, and he how is you doing? Not, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. It's Grammy week. It's so I'm, getting my, I'm getting my butt kicked a little bit, but I feel good. Which, you know, uh, a high in demand producer like yourself, any Grammy week, I'm sure that's the case between right. the parties, the events, the right. artists that are in town that want to collaborate and get right. in the studio. Exactly. And then on top of all of that, you're up for producer of the year. <sighs> now that it's Grammy weekend, has it sunk in? Uh, yeah, like by now it has, but it took a long time, literally months to like kind of almost on a daily basis being like nominated. I'm nominated for a Grammy. Like, it's crazy feeling. I really, it's something I've always wanted, but it just never, can never even really conceptualize it or visualize it until one day it was real. Do you feel that this past year something changed in your career or in your life that helped you get to this point now where you're recognized as one of the best? Um, yeah, I think meeting the love of my life was what it's like spurred me towards this a few years ago everything began to gel once I met her the inspiration all the distractions slid away and I became focused and figured it out uh, let's talk a little bit about 21 Pilots. Obviously, yeah. they're nominated uh, Sunday night as well. And mm -hmm. they've had quite the year, the year. What has it been like kind of with this sound and the way that it's resonated with not just their the fan base that they had, but yeah. this whole new fan base that, that has come into that? Right. I think people pick up on the honesty. I think, like, Tyler is really good at sort of painting these pictures of feeling insecure or feeling afraid or finding bravery in a moment of difficulty whatever it is and I think that aside from their fan base everybody can relate to the fact that you know he really says life's not just black and white there's a lot of in-between feelings and I think that people connect with that I think it's refreshing uh, again we have Ricky Reed here he's up for producer of the year at the Grammys yeah. uh, two questions love, love mm -hmm. to hear the answer to this the one song you produced that you thought for sure was going to be a hit and wasn't Oh, that's a great question. Because um, we have these so many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, you know, I think, um, I thought uh, Girls Talk Boys, Five Seconds of Summer. Ah. I was like, this is a no-brainer. And it wasn't that it was, like, small by any means. I mean, anything they put out is massive. And they, they killed it, like, their performances, like, everything about that, I was like, this is, like, a perfect song to me. I was crazy about it. So I was surprised that it didn't go all the way, but doesn't mean that it didn't have the life that it deserved, you know? All right, and the project that you maybe have just completed or are working on that you can tell me about that you're most excited about? Um, I've been doing a little bit of work with Kesha. Oh. And I am just so excited about where it's going. I can't talk too much about it, but I will say that it's, it's going to really... I think it's going to change the world. There's a lot of layers in that, and yeah. I know you can't maybe get into details, but for right. you as a producer, mm -hmm. especially given her particular past with her producer, is mm -hmm. that a difficult? Uh, was that a difficult first studio session, initial studio session, or have, has, has that been anything that you've had to navigate while working with her? Or now, no, I think that w you know, with any artist that comes in the room, they're going to have um, the like. There's going to be like a process for me getting to know them getting comfortable breaking down their barriers so they feel you know open and safe and creative I have that same process with anybody that comes through the building so just like that I had to navigate it with her you know that's doesn't change I'm happy to hear I mean I'm happy you're working with her and I'm happy that uh, she's recording some new stuff because I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing it for sure awesome uh, best of luck on Sunday sir thank you so much man. Ricky Reed everybody thanks man cheers